August 21st of 2017. That's the day that Southern Illinois will plunge into darkness for several minutes midday during what's being called the Great American Eclipse. Carly O'Keefe talked to the people counting the days until the sun goes dark. Look at that! The weather! Totality! At 35,000 feet, Mike Kentry and Akis just couldn't contain his excitement. Totality! Oh my God, look at those streamers! Look. The view from his window seat on Alaska Airlines Flight 870 showed a rare, total solar eclipse. Absolutely gorgeous. Listening to it, I couldn't believe what I was saying. I even laughed, and I said, wow, I heard my voice breaking. A total solar eclipse can, can take you away. It's, uh, it's an emotional experience. Mike's enthusiasm proved contagious, and his videos since gone viral. Look at that! I was narrating over the over the video. Providence is totality. I I've got everyone the world over making fun of me, and I've had people contact me worldwide saying, "Is is that you, Mike?" They sense the excitement. The video itself, it's hard to show an eclipse. There is no video that can do it. But Gallatin County High School teacher and filmmaker Lindsay Adams is trying to do just that. She booked a seat on that March 8th flight and kept her camera rolling. This is the second time in history from a passenger plane. It was a perfectly clear shot. Uh, in my in my video, you know, you see the wing of the plane, and then that's it. It's just it's just the sky and, and the sun. Video is uh, going to be part of my documentary I'm making about uh, Southern Illinois, mostly Carbondale, um, and how they are preparing for the eclipse. Adam's documentary will lead up to the Great American Eclipse, August 21st, 2017. It's an event that her students are already preparing for. And there's a lot of science involved, and it's, uh, it's a natural phenomenon that doesn't happen that often. And to go right over their school and their, the area that they live is pretty amazing. Astronomers say Carbondale will be right in the center of what's called the path of totality, which means a front row seat for the first total solar eclipse to sweep across the United States in nearly 100 years. Totality is what everyone's just going to be amazed at when what happens in Carbondale. It's just when, that, when the moon covers up that last sliver of the sun, and you take off those glasses, that is, that's amazing. So I'm about two minutes and 41.6 seconds of totality right here. The small town of Macanda sits at the exact center of the path of totality. An orange line goes straight through artist Dave Dardis's shop pointing the way. When something ethereal, cosmic comes through an artist's town, you make it real. So this is a real line. Estimates range from 50 to 100,000 extra sets of eyes heading to Southern Illinois to see the eclipse. We are preparing for Woodstock, basically. <laughs> and Macanda is banking on a boon for local business. A second total eclipse is going to happen just seven years later in 2024. And that one will come out of Mexico and head up toward Maine. It's going to cross right over, guess what, Macanda. And so we are the eclipse crossroads of America. So that's our claim to fame. In Southern Illinois, Carly O'Keefe, Heartland News. Due to the geometry of the eclipse, Carbondale will have the greatest duration of darkness anywhere in the United States. And Cape Girardeau will be right on the edge of the path of totality, so we should get a good show here, too.